all the money goes to a wonderful cause as we do it again this year on a night when the Canucks try to take a step closer rank to winning the Pacific Division. For now, he's the only visiting player to have multiple game-winning goals at Mullet Arena. Here's a shot by Quinn Hughes. Rebound, Joshua on the back, and couldn't steer it on goal. And Ingram able to cover the puck as Hughes. Michelli tried to make a move. That was broken up, and here comes Vancouver the other way. Bluger's right back out there with Lafferty. Trying to go after that centering pass. Went right through to Legolton, and he dumps it behind the Arizona goal. Now Kesselring pulls away from Connor Garland, who steals the puck. He stopped it tight. Miller after the rebound. Still loose and grabbed by Ingram. The legs move and he gets his stick underneath the Kessel ring here, spins and he wants to go right up under the bar, but he doesn't. Despite their standing in the league and what you might think of the Coyotes, they've been scoring a lot of goals lately. They have got 55 in their last 15 games. They've scored four or more in nine of those 15 games. Hit the boards, ricochet to Zadorov, who tried to clear, but that was knocked down by Clayton Keller. But his pass picked off by Di Giuseppe, who finds Tyler Myers in on the right wing. Here's Zadorov, hit the post! Kesselring trying to stay with him. Hoaglander gets to the puck behind the net, turns in the corner. Here's Myers, he shoots, glove save, rebound, bounced over the stick of Garland as he tried to jam the puck home on the second chance. Rings this off the, off the goal post. Hoaglander finds Myers. He puck was tipped away from Garland. Nice defensive play by Clayton Keller, who now skates the other way with the puck. Keller in on the left wing. In front, it came off Miller. She lost maybe his best save of the game. Some cross checks, and Miller put his head down here. This is a man advantage break. She lost, who hasn't had anything to do for most of the night, makes a terrific reaction save. Here's a centering pass, rebound, they score. Josh Brown. Snipe that one under the bar. His third of the season, and the Coyotes open the scoring here just shy of the six-minute mark of the second period. But the face-off is won and touched back to the point. This puck is stopped once, and then with Logan Cooley and Zadorov in the goal crease, Shiloff can't find this puck. He's certainly not going to be able to react to it before Josh Brown sticks it in the top of the net. And... After an energetic start, the Canucks Ingram is Lind Lindholm's had a, a nice start here to his first game back at eight. Here's Keller centering. Jam towards the goal by KJ Moser. Goes right wide. Here's Miller. And that's broken up. Look out. Gunther getting chase. He's gonna get a shorthanded breakaway. And he's stopped by Shields. Arizona's fine rookie. Logan Cooley's out there killing penalties with his buddy Dylan Gunther. Gunther walks right in. And Connor Garland. Miller with another faceoff. The Canucks have won 23 of 28. The shot attempt. Who's puck is there? Miller on the back. JT Miller with point number 101. He extends his point streak to nine games, and the Canucks have pulled even at one. With Miller, but also Tyler Myers instead of Phil Hironic on the blue line with Hughes. Hughes dances across the line. Another face-off win. The Canucks are dominating the circle. Myers' shot hits the foot of J.T. Miller as it comes through. It gets stuck on the goal crease, and he's strong on the... And he moves another assist closer to Dennis Kearns for second all-time in Canucks history. Here's Cooley moving in. Drop pass. Joshua tied up his man. They couldn't come up with the puck. Now a long shot. They score through traffic. It beats Shelovs, who's still trying to find the puck. But it's in the net. And Arizona answers right back with 30 and a half seconds to go in the second. The Coyotes are back on top, and it's Coley Achonuk, who already has an assist in this game. It's his second game of the season is... This puck is up for grabs, and Kolya Chonuk's shot is going to go through about four bodies. You're right, Shilovs never sees this. Oh, he's still looking for it, and the, and the shot from Kolya Chonuk, who didn't play last night in Seattle, plays today. And With the goal the Canucks scored, Myers and Hughes assisting, Vancouver's gone over the 200-point mark. From defensemen this year, they rank second in the league in that category. Is that puck ricocheted off? Tried to feed into the middle, but that escaped the zone. And the Coyotes have to regroup at center before Dursey dumps the puck back in. Hughes still up as we approach the two-minute mark of the 
third period, and there's Gunther banging one home in front. Dylan Gunther, on his 21st birthday, has a three-point game, and the Coyotes have a 3-1 lead. The seventh, he's now got 15 goals. Twice Quinn Hughes tried to change, twice he got near the bench, and couldn't get all the way off the ice. Almost two minutes on the ice there, the forecheck by Maselli, the little chip pass, or rather, I'm sorry, Logan Cooley, little chip pass out. Hoaglander's come out, just missed that pass. He was cutting towards the goal, gets it again in the corner. Trying to find Miller and Ian Morris, who hooked his man. Here's Garland in front, stopped by Ingram. Yeah. Only Connor Bernard has more goals for those 19 or under. Here's a short-handed chance. Teddy Bluger in a loan. Bluger beats, stopped by Ingram as he tried to tuck it between the legs. The pass is going to skip on the blue line at, over Valamaki's stick and Ingram really shut that down as he didn't really open up his pads when he goes to the backhand. Look at him, he's got his stick down. Tyler Myers with McKay. Myers trying to go through, follows up, gets a shot on goal. And that was steered to the corner as he just chipped it on net. Canucks trailing by a couple. Hoaglander in after the puck, sends it back to Hughes. Quinn Hughes walks the line, leaves for Myers, wrist shot the puck and wide. Hughes gets the puck on the far side. Behind that, Hoaglander, here's Garland, he scores! Connor Garland continues to wield the hot stick. Now go stack a shift together here. That's two good shifts in a row. Hughes and Myers on the ice again. Myers shots deflected. Hughes keeps the play alive and Hoaglander to Garland. That's a sharp, severe angle here as Garland goes over top of the glove of Ingram, who is a little flat in the net. Pokes it to the near side towards Miller. Tried to help it back, but here come the Coyotes. Garland's covering for the defenseman. Pass comes to Kerfoot. Now here's Schmaltz centering. Seelov's wonderful save of the right pad as he stopped Clayton Keller. Pedersen and Hughes. And Hughes gets the puck at the blue line. Passes to Elias Pedersen. Kraus watching him. Pedersen back to Hughes. Kerfoot out to greet him. Pedersen takes the pass. Curls to the middle. Shoots. He scores! Elias Pedersen! Send the puck off the boards and out. Horonic feeds it across, and this game is going to go to overtime as the Canucks get crucial goals from Connor Garland. Coyotes in games decided before a shootout are four and five. And it's the Canucks who will control first in this game of possession that is NHL overtime. Horonic. With him as Heronic carries in down the left. Center is Pedersen stopped by Ingram, who wasn't sure where the puck was. Does Pedersen just his legs are churning the entire way up the ice? Heronic broke into the open. Being tied up there by Michelli. Lindholm continues to fight for it, just kept in. Now stolen by Heronic. Short hand off the penalty shot. He was pulled down by Schwartz. And Philip Heronic in overtime is going to get a penalty shot to try to win it. What a great play. Now it's Heronic against Connor Ingram to win the game. Stop by Ingram. Besser standing in the box as Gunther brings the puck in. Cuts to the middle. Besser's back into the game. It's four on four, but he still has to hustle into his own zone. Puck center, they score! Gunther threw it across. Cooley jammed it home. And the Coyotes survive an overtime penalty shot from Philip Heronik. Gunther has a four-point night. And Arizona, after blowing a two-goal lead, wins 4-3 in overtime. Here's how it ended. The Dylan Gunther, who had a big night for the Coyotes, is going to go across. To his buddy Logan Cooley. Cooley gets inside a Bluger. Even though Besser was back on the ice, it was still like a four on three. That pass goes right through Ian Cole's legs. The missed penalty shot, the save by Ingram.